32nd BC, ancient Egypt was not a united kingdom, divided into Upper Egypt in the south, and Lower Egypt in the north, the terms Upper, and Lower Egypt do not derive from where they are on a map that is north at the top, instead, they are derived from how the Nile River flows. When we talk about rivers, up is upstream, nearer to the source of the river. Down is downstream, farther away from the source. The Nile River flows from south to north, therefore, the Upper Nile is south of the Lower Nile. Upper and Lower Egypt were named because they were on the Upper and Lower Nile. Lower Egypt lies between the Fertile Nile Delta, and the Mediterranean Sea, developing agriculture, raising livestock, and hunting. It had a strong economy due to its fertile soil. The king wore a red crown, took the snake as a guardian god, and took the bee as his national emblem. Upper Egypt in the south, the king wore a white crown took the white lotus as the national emblem. Upper Egypt benefited from the trade network developed a wealth and staple financed economy. Upper Egypt experienced more development than its neighbor, probably because of its trade relations with other cultures. The population of this region was most likely growing quite fast as well. All these factors eventually prompted its rulers to venture out beyond its borders. Upper and Lower Egypt, these two regions were always fighting. They spoke the same language. They worshipped the same gods. They had the same culture. But, for reasons, they could not get along. Until 3100 BC, when Upper Egypt became powerful and wealthy, the king of Upper Egypt at that time, Mens, personally brought troops to defeat Lower Egypt. The final battle took place right on the triangle, of the Nile, where two armies fought three days and three nights. In the end, the Upper Egyptian army won. King Mens, finally united that Egypt became the first pharaoh of ancient Egypt. Pharaoh Nama. These two regions were combined into one country, but the people kept fighting amongst themselves. To help his people think of themselves as one people, the king had a special crown made, a double crown, red and white crowns symbolizing the unity of ancient Egypt. And it did the trick. The people started calling their combined land the two lands. The two lands became known as Egypt. The land where the last battle occurred was built by Mens to make it the largest city in ancient times, Memphis named after Mens and becoming the capital of ancient Egypt. 